disclosure. Darn. Stop falling. Hi YouTube, my name is Jasmine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be doing my Reading Rush TBR. I am super excited for this. I have done the Reading Rush every single year since maybe like 2016. I did fail it the first time, but I have been successfully completing it and winning the reading rush for the past like two years now i don't know last year i actually ended up reading 11 books during the seven day period which was insane and i'm so happy and not even gonna try to like match that this year it's just not gonna happen but um i'm still very excited for the reading rush and let's just get straight into my tbr So if you don't know, the Reading Rush is a readathon that's hosted every single year. It takes place over the course of seven days and there are seven different challenges for it. I will put the announcement video or the video with the challenges. I'll put something in the description so y'all can check out the readathon if you don't know about it. You know what? Let's just, let's get into the TBR. So. <laughs> For the Reading Rush 2020, I'm going to be making it a Black Rush and all the books I read will be by Black authors with Black main characters. Yay. I'm excited. Yeah, I have a set TBR and one of the challenges I don't know yet, it is to pick the first book that you touch. So I have a list right over here that I can pick from. It's a, it's, it's a list of 10 options. So like, did I control what I could possibly read? Yes, I did. But it's still options and we'll still figure it out. But anyway, the first prompt is to read a book with a cover that matches the color of your birthstone. For this one, I am going with Full Disclosure by Cameron Garrett. So I don't actually know what this book is about. I just want to go in blind. So I will be reading this and potentially okay i was supposed to buddy read this with shane i don't know if we're still doing that but we originally were supposed to buddy read this either way i plan on reading this thing during the reading rush and i'm excited to finally get to it because i've heard a lot of amazing reviews and i got this book in like i don't even know january february one of those so gotta read this the next prompt is to read a book that starts with the word the and for this one it's also one of the books <laughs> that I have from the list that I can just randomly pick from. I still will try to read seven books, but just in case I do randomly pick one of the ones that I have already assigned to a challenge, wow, that was hard to say, then I'll just pick a different book to read during the week. But whatever. The book I'm reading that starts with the word the is The Bells by Daniel Clayton. This book was a gift so thank you to whoever bought me this book. I really appreciate it. I have wanted to read this book for a long, long time and something about it, it just, okay, you're gonna notice the pattern. I don't know the synopses of anything, but I know it's something somewhat similar to the selection. Okay, maybe I do know what this book is about. I think it's about like you're born gray or something and then when you get to a certain age, you're chosen to become a bell and that's what makes you pretty and then our main character is trying to be the main bell honestly i don't know but i think it's similar to the selection because there's a competition where our main character is trying to be chosen to be like queen or something of the sort i don't know but i'm excited also the cover is just gorgeous i'm just so excited to read this book and it should be a fun time so yeah <laughs> okay so the next one is to read a book inspired by a movie that i have seen and for this one it's finally gonna happen guys this book does cover two prompts. I'm going to be reading Becoming because there is a documentary for Becoming on Netflix that I have watched. I just have not read the book. So I will be reading the book to cover that prompt and it also covers a different prompt which is to read a book from a genre that you want to read more of which is nonfiction. And since it's a memoir and it's inspired by a movie slash documentary that I have already seen, it works and I'm so excited to finally read Becoming and make myself do it. Now that it's in this video, I I kind of have to so that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it okay the next prompt is to read the first book that I touch so I'm just gonna like close my eyes and then pick one randomly let's do that now dish one Yay! I got A Blade So Black by L.L. McKinney. This is an Alice in Wonderland retelling and during the last reading rush I read an Alice in Wonderland retelling. But either way, I love a good Alice in Wonderland retelling. I mentioned this in my mid-year book freakout tag and I'm super excited to read it. 
so I'm very happy that I picked this one. Good job. <laughs> All right, so for the next one, it is to read a book completely outside of your house, and I will be reading Slay by Brittany Morris. I got an ARC for this thing when it came out, still haven't read it. So we're fixing that immediately by reading it during the reading rush, and I'm very excited. It is like, it's pretty short. It's really short. How long is it? My copy is 318 pages. It is not long. I can read this thing on a blanket outside <laughs> or on a chair outside. Either way, I can read this whole thing outside and it's gonna be fine. And I'm excited because I genuinely do want to read this. It's about this girl who plays this video game called Slay and someone gets murdered, right? Yeah. It says, when a teen in Kansas City is murdered over a dispute in the Slay world, news of the game reaches mainstream media and Slay is labeled a racist, exclusionist, violent hub for thugs and criminals. Media, huh? Anyway, even worse, an anonymous troll infiltrates the game, threatening to sue Kiera, the main character, for anti-white discrimination. <laughs> okay. Driven to save the only world in which she can be herself, Kiera must preserve her secret identity and harness what it means to be unapologetically black in a world intimidated by blackness. But can she protect her game without losing herself in the process? Yes, I'm reading this. Okay, and the last book for like an actual prompt is to read a book that takes place in a different continent than where you live. So for this one, I'm going to be reading Don't Laugh at Me. I can only laugh at myself. Royal Holiday by Jasmine Gullery. So, <laughs> this book takes place in England, so Europe, and it takes place during Christmas. But there is nothing wrong reading a Christmas book in July, okay? Christmas in July. It's a thing. So I will be reading Royal Holiday and I'm very excited. It's a romance novel. It's the same author who wrote The Wedding Date. So I'm very excited to read Royal Holiday and enjoy a Christmas romance in July. Because why not? So those are all the books for the proms. I also plan on reading You Should See Me in a Crown. It is a very short book and I heard it's a very fast read so I'm very excited to get to it and I have no doubt that I will enjoy it and fly through the whole thing. So, so yeah, those are seven books and that's my TBR for the reading rush. I might randomly end up reading eight books and then randomly decide to pick another book. But as of right now, this is everything that I plan on reading. I do think I will stick to this TBR. Most TBRs I don't stick to, but I do think I will stick to this one. And yeah, so that is the end of this TBR video. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around until the end. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I hope you have a good day or night and stay safe. Bye.